I know everyone's trying the flipped classroom huh. these days, but there's always a little different twist on it. How, how does yours run? Okay, yeah, in a lot of the flipped classrooms, they have um, pre-recorded videos that the students or lectures mm -hmm. that the students look mm -hmm. at before they come into class. But in my case, I've had them do an unfolding case study. And the case studies are a, um, it's an unfolding case study. So the students would be divided into groups of four. Uh, the class of 32 would be divided into eight groups of um, four people. And then each member of that group would do a different part of that case study so that it would start to unfold. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, the class that we're gonna be videotaping is on oncology and it has the same oncology patient in the outpatient, mm -hmm. in the med surge floor, in the ICU, and then um, in an outpatient in another clinic. So the students get the message that cancer or oncology is showing up everywhere. Right. Plus, they also get a real uh, sense of the trajectory of a patient. Yeah. And yeah. how do you develop those unfolding case studies? I think that's... Yeah, um, I think I've taken some of them from um, patients that I've taken care of. Mm -hmm. The one that we do in diabetes is of a homeless person that mm -hmm. has diabetes, and so we have him coming through the ER and then up to the med surge floor, mm -hmm. and then he has to give him some discharge teaching. Mm -hmm. Another case that we do from with a neurological patient, I work with a, a nurse expert over at the hospital, and she the case is based on one of her patients. Mm -hmm. So again, it's coming into the hospital with the stroke, mm -hmm. then it's going to the ICU for increased intracranial pressure, then it's going to the med surge unit, and then it's going to getting ready for discharge. I love it, and that really sets you up nicely to study transitions as well, yes. doesn't it? Yes, yes, and hand off, she <clears throat> hand off reports. Right. Sometimes we can spin off and make that an extra activity in the mm -hmm. classroom for them to um, say how would you give report to the next shift or the next not even the next uh, level of care that the patient is going to. What do you find are the biggest payoffs um, or, or the effectiveness of this flipped classroom approach that you're using? Well, I think for the students, and for me too, because I think I tend to get bored as well in mm -hmm, the classroom, mm -hmm. um, it has the advantage of having them come prepared and ready mm -hmm. to talk about a class. I think they have to submit, we call them tickets, but they have to submit their case study, which is based on a two-page front and back template, mm -hmm. and they have to submit that on the day of class. Mm -hmm. So they have that much accountability that they mm -hmm. know they have to do it mm -hmm. and hand it in. And so therefore, they've mm -hmm. done the reading, and they mm -hmm. come prepared. I like the language of ticket for class. So, yeah. Yeah, I also like the redistribution of uh, uh, intellectual labor. The students are really, you know, bringing that class together mm -hmm. and doing mm -hmm. as much work so that we can reverse that maxim that to learn is to teach. I mean, I mm -hmm. think it still is, but mm -hmm. um, it really increases the learning, I think, for the students.